Hello, I am Flash Izzy, and you are welcome to Flash Nana's Basic Science and Technology Series, Episode 4. Remember, in this episode, we we'll take care of junior wire, past, and likely questions. We we'll solve them in a way that you understand and crave questions. So, at the end of this series, your life will never remain the same, and your success in junior wire is sure. Like you already know, we are making use of the Flash Nana's Bessel application. Visit Google Play Store to get one for yourself or visit flashnana.com to install the desktop version. And if you are watching this on YouTube, I will share download link to the application below. Now, let us begin. A crate of mass, 50 kg, is dragged by an engine along a horizontal floor through a distance of 6 meters in 3 seconds. Calculate the power of the engine in watts. Take G to be 10 meter per second squared. Look at it. Let me analyze the question. It says a crate of mass 50 kg is dragged by an engine along a horizontal floor to a distance of 6 meters in 3 seconds. Calculate the power of the engine in watts. Take G to be 10 meters per second squared. Trying to picture this, it means we have a crate here. And this is an engine. Let's say a bike. <laughs> or whatever this is. Drags this crate. So there is a connection here. Tie, tie. And this crate itself is 50 kilograms. This is the mass of the crate. And it is dragged along a horizontal floor. Horizontal means like this. Why vertical is like this. So floor. Through a distance of 6 meters, which means let's say the crate was here. Since it is now here, the distance it moved is 6 meters. And how long did it take the crate to move this distance? 3 seconds. Which means, so far, we are given mass m to be 50 kg. Kilogram. And we are given a distance. In basic science and technology, you take distance to be s. So, s, distance s, height h, velocity v, mass m, small m to be 6 meters, time is t to be 3 seconds. And they say take g to be equal 10 meters per second squared. What is g? g is simply acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is a force that brings all objects down. Remember, according to Newton, anything that, according to the law of gravity, you see, anything that goes up will surely come down. So the force that is bringing everything that goes up down is referred to as force of gravity and it is approximated to be 10 meters per second squared. That is not the exact value. It is the approximate value. Now, we are asked to look for power developed in the engine. So let's say power P is equal to question. Now, when do you say someone is powerful? Somebody is powerful if he or she is able to do work at a short time, which means power is time rate of doing work. Power is work done over time. So power is equals work over time. If you did not know that before now, take note of that now, that power is work over time. If power is work over time, what is work or what is work done? Work done is simply force times distance. So, I am introducing you now to derivation. Derivations are very easy if you understand definitions and concepts and if you have open mind. Power is work over time. We know, right? Now, work on itself, work is force. Force is usually F. Is air force times distance. That is work. 
So the power is work over time and work is first time distance. It simply means that power P is also first time distance over time. Time is T. We are representing them by their um, symbols or units, whatever it, no, whatever it is to call them. So here we've not changed anything. First time distance is the same thing as we work done. So power is first time distance over time. Now look at something. What is force? Force is simply force now. Force is simply MA or MG. Force is the product of a body's mass and acceleration. That is force on anybody. If you multiply mass by acceleration, you get force. And the unit of force is Newton. So, since we are giving gravity, it simply means that we will take force to be equals mg. So therefore, instead of force, we put mg. We have not change anything. So power is equals m or m times g times s over t, which is mgs over t. Anytime we are giving mass, distance, and time, and ask to look for power, you simply say that power P is equals mgh over T or power is equals mgs over T. This is the formula for power. Write it out somewhere. Power is mgs over T or mgh over T or power is equals mas over T. Okay, let me leave the first two. Look at this difference between H and S. If you move from here to here, you've covered a distance. So this is S. If you move from here to here uh, vertically, you've covered a distance. But in that case, it is horizontal distance. It is vertical distance. Vertical distance is regarded as height. So it means you are high. So H. That is the difference. Now, if you are moving uh, linearly or horizontally, you have acceleration. But if you are going up, the acceleration acting against you is now acceleration due to gravity G. That is the relationship between A and G, S and H. Now that we have our formula, we have mass to be 50 kg. 50 times, we are told to take G to be 10 meters per second. So times 10 times Distance is 6, 6 over time is 3 seconds, 3. We have everything that we need. So depending on how you do your own calculation, you can decide to multiply everything here straight and divide by 3. Or for me, I would prefer to break it down. How? 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, which means I have 50 times 10, 500 times 2, 1000. So the power developed is 1000. And power is in watts. So 1000 watts is the correct option. I hope you found this helpful. I am Flash Isaac. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. Tell your friends about it. I'll share a link to the next episode below. Thank you.